Eastern Africa Grain Council, EAGC, is a membership-based grain value chain stakeholders, not-for-profit forum covering 10 countries in East, Central and Southern Africa region. Farmers, traders and processors form the core membership of EAGC, while government's policy research development partners, trade intermediaries are associate members. EAGC's mandate is to support a structured grain trade, to bolster regional food security, evidence-based policy advocacy. EAGC's vision is to be the leading voice of the grain industry in Africa. Our mission is to advocate for an enabling environment and promote structured grain trade for optimum stakeholder benefits. EAGC delivers its mandate through four main pillars, namely structured trading systems, marketing information systems, capacity building, policy and advocacy. As we review EAGC 2014-2015 financial year, the year opens with annual members luncheon in April. The annual members luncheon is an annual event that takes place just before the members annual general meeting and this has become a tradition for EAGC. The whole idea is that um, we all have a stake in ensuring that there is food security in this region and we all have a role, different roles to play. We as private sector, what role should we play? And then government, what should be the role of government and how do we go forward to work and create more partnerships? To achieve this, EAGC works with regional and international partners who are present at the luncheon. There is no doubt that this is one of the most important council in our endeavors to improve the livelihood of our people and to ensure that there is a food security in our countries and in the region in general. And now we are talking of the tripartite, whereby we are going to bring together the Comesa, SADC and EAC. 26 countries, a population of 400, uh, 400 million people to trade on a free, on trade, uh, free area. It's, it's really encouraging and really looking forward that the EAC, the East Africa Grain Council, will look into how we can tap into the potential that we are, we are going to, look at, to get into. In my earlier life, I was actually a grain produce dealer in Uganda. However, the experience I had then gave me such a challenge that after a while I said no. After four years, on the fifth year I said enough is enough. From the challenges of going to buy maize, beans, sim sim, out there, the transport challenges, the storage challenges, having SDS harassing you with moisture content, with the way you are storing your produce, and not really having an institution where one could go to and say, what are the do's and don'ts in this business? And when I see today that you actually have programs, you have an expo that is going to be targeting improving post-harvest technology. I say hallelujah for bringing such an innovation to enable us maximize on the produce that we are buying and be able to provide, to supply those who are buying from us quality produce that can fetch us a good price. We also, uh, in our office and the whole U.S. Embassy, relies on EAGC and its extensive memberships and networks in the region to provide market information and to make the entire market more transparent, which I think helps governments, it helps traders, and that transparency will lead to greater market integration and trade within the EAC. The event also marked the transition in leadership at the helm of the Council. This day marks the end of my term as chairman 
of the Board of East Africa Crane Council. And I want to take this opportunity to introduce the incoming chairman, Dr. Otim, from Uganda. I would like to take this opportunity to place on record our hearty thanks to all our development partners. We are confident that through your support, we will indeed achieve our goal of contributing towards increased integration of the national and regional grain trade markets. In deepening capacity building in the industry, East Africa Grain Institute, the training arm of the council, got the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology accreditation to offer a certificate course in supply chain management. The East Africa uh, Grain I Institute have, have satisfied the requirements of our ministry. We looked at the three key areas, the management, the physical facilities, and the curriculum organization. With those few remarks, I take this opportunity to present the certificate. In pursuit of deepening structured grain trade in the region, EAGC co-hosted the introduction of the East Africa Exchange in Nairobi. What is the role of the exchange in this process? In an exchange operation, you need to have information about the farm, about production, about forecasting, that is the basis for the exchange, that we have a feed from the farms. Because at the end of the day, the farm is the source of the commodity. And you, have, you can't have a business in which you cannot predict how much you will be trading in the year. If the buyer is going for 10,000 metric tons, can they find it uniform, same, EAT must guarantee that. To emphasize its ground presence and integration, June 2014 saw the official launch of EAGC Wanda. In order to promote trade linkages, market intelligence and best practices in structured green trade, EAGC costs the annual agribusiness exports. close to 1.3 billion metric tons of grain in the whole world. The scale of post-harvest food losses is sad and tragic. Nearly one third of the global agricultural production never makes it to the consumer. We have so, so far provided seeds and fertilizers to 1,000 venerable farmers per sub-county. This totals to 11,000 farmers who own one acre at least. This will translate to 11,000 acres of land under production. This is meant to contribute towards improved food security and livelihood in small scale farmers. EAGC Agribusiness Expo in Kenya and Uganda. grain value chain to increase by 3 billion shillings in the next uh, three years. Trade in grains such as maize, wheat, rice, beans, pulses, sorghum and millet in the region is generally not structured and is predominantly informed by small and medium traders. 
The trade is affected by many issues such as high fluctuation in prices, which is characteristically lowest at harvest and higher just before the next harvest. Other concerns such as the quality and safety of the food grains have also continued to hamper trade. Such concerns include the trade in aflatoxin contaminated grains, which is made worse by poor storage and handling of grains after harvest. In a structured trading system, farmers aggregate their produce to create economical quantities, which they store in certified warehouses after being graded and are stored safely to guarantee the quality and quantity. The depositors are issued with a warehouse receipt as a title of the deposited grains and they can use the warehouse receipt to secure credit advance from the bank as they wait to sell their produce at a later day. The purpose for EHGC or the objective for EHGC as a membership uh, trade association is really to first of all provide a voice for the uh, sector players uh, secondly, to create an enabling environment so that we have we are able to carry out our business of grain trade well, and this also involves capacity building, provision of market information, and above all, promoting structured grain trade. On the other hand, the processor and millers buy the grains from the certified warehouses, which grains have been graded and safely stored. We have been working a lot together on market information system which, as you know, is one of the, uh, let's say, block of uh, structured trade. Such a system has a structure in terms of receiving, grading, storing and selling of the grains. EAGC works with farmers, traders on warehouse reset system. The total amount loaned in 2014 against the Warehouse Research System, WRS, was 160 million shillings, up from 4 million issued in 2013, 70% of which benefited smallholder farmers. Six financial institutions are participating in WRC and have allocated a total of 1 billion Kenya shillings for the next financial year. A total of 100,000 metric tons of grains and pulses moved from Uganda to Kenya under EAGC trade facilitation. The achievement and role of EAGC in promoting structured grain trade continues to be recognized at the very highest levels of governance. Towards this, EAGC hosted Her Excellency Mrs. Rhoda Peace Tumusime, the Commissioner for Agriculture and Rural Economy in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, during the EAGC hosted risk management meeting. EAGC was selected as a signatory of the Comesse Comprehensive Africa Agricultural Development Program Compact. EAGC was recognized at the World Economic Forum. Africa has a, a lot of opportunity to offer to the, to the world at large. We, as the transformational leaders of Africa, will be engaging with the world at the World Economic Forum. And what we'll be calling on the rest of the world is that Africa has the opportunity. Africa has all the... Um, has the the, is the next frontier for business, for investment, for, for economic growth. Therefore, we are calling on the world, we are calling on all the investors, we are calling on the, uh, the world at large to unify together and see how we can increase the opportunities. And also, we have realized that Africa has the opportunity to feed the world. The East African Grain Council has partnered with Dutch Center for Agriculture and Rural Cooperation to enhance grain trade in the region. The project, which is expected to cost 60 million shillings, will the two groups structure grain trade to bring yield better returns for farmers. The market is currently dominated by small and medium traders that have found market access difficult, leading to generally low prices for grains such as maize, wheat, rice, beans and sorghum. The East African Grain Council so far has 50 certified warehouses in the region with the plan to double it in the next two years through the warehousing receipting system farmers have used their grain as collateral and borrowed over half a billion shillings which the two groups want to see grow
will be reaching out to you to uh, encourage you and to support you to uh, join uh, pharma, pharma groups so that you are in a cooperative or you are in a pharma-based group uh, so that as a group you can aggregate, you can bring together your commodities, get them put in a certified warehouse and then you can be able to trade, uh, to sell and get better prices having gotten good economical quantities for your grains. And then when it comes to selling, the, the project will enhance our market information system routing, which as uh, farmers may know, you are able to query for prices using your phone right at home. The role and relevance of EAGC in the region as grain industry stakeholders continues to grow. EAGC continues to be the voice in matters grain in the region. The area of great importance going forward is strengthening of farmers' groups in collective marketing for increased regional trade.